Hey you guys, it's your girl Side Hustle Vicky and I am back today with another video. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be about my top 20 sales in the month of January. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Victoria. I am a part-time reseller, full-time side hustler, and my channel is all about documenting the growth of my small businesses and teaching you how to make money for yourself. So if that is content that you're interested in, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and welcome to the family. Before we get into the top 20 sales that I had this month, let me go ahead and start off by saying that I will not be giving um, what my total profits are for the month of July simply because I have not done my spreadsheet. Um, so I do not know what my total profits are, but just for reference on average my profits are normally 50 to 55 percent of the total sales amount. So you guys can do the math on that. And then also I was out of town from July the 1st through July the 8th. Um, I did keep my store open. If you want to see how much money I made while I was on vacation, I will go ahead and link that video in the cards. But I did not list anything and um, people knowing that I was away for a week could have hindered um, people from potentially buying items. Um, overall, my sales were down about 25% compared to um, June. Um, so I don't know what all factors played in that, if it was just strictly summer slowdown or the fact that people saw that they were going to have to wait 10 days for their order at the beginning of the month. I don't know, but um, let's just go ahead and jump right into my top 20 sales. So this first item here is some Demasuri Rice Milk Brightening Face Exfoliator. Um, I purchased this when I was in California on vacation. Um, they were new in the box. You got a total of 12 in a case. Um, and I saw that they were sell the sell through rate rate was very well, but they were only selling for like $10 each. Um, so I figured lotting them together in lots of two would be the best way to sell them. And, um, that was exactly what worked. Um, I sold all six of those lots to the same person for $144.27. Only paid $20 for the box of 12. So I made over $100 profit on this item. And I'm beating myself up because the Goodwill outlet actually had like probably 20 or 30 boxes of this stuff. And, um, you know, y'all know I'm accustomed to spending like a dollar, a dollar fifty per item. I'm not really big on taking risks. So I only bought one one of these um but i definitely should have bought all that they had um because i definitely um made a lot of money um on the one box that i did purchase next highest sell for the month of july is this lexus auto brown leather overnight duffel bag i purchased this from the bins so i only paid about two dollars for it it sold for seventy two dollars and seventy three cents um and that means i probably made a profit of over 50 dollars for that item there um you guys have heard me say that like i get the items that other people overlook and this just shows you like why it's so important to run comps on um items and to know high quality material this um item here doesn't really have like a very noticeable logo or anything on it like nothing is just gonna stand out about this bag but of course i felt that it was leather um and i saw that it had lexus on it so i just went ahead and ran comps on it and surprisingly these um uh, car dealership bags sell very very well so I am glad that I picked that item up and I only had that one listed for about 60 days before it sold next item here is a non-clothing or accessory item it is a vintage Fisher Price twin time loving family uh, bathroom set um, and actually it's not vintage it's just from 2005 um, I purchased this at my local thrift store for $2 and it sold for $69.65. So I made probably about $40, $45 off of the sale of this item. 
I figured that since I'm already in the thrift store, I might as well look at everything in the thrift store. I definitely don't want to leave money behind. So in my what sold videos, you're going to see that I am branching out and selling other items outside of clothes, shoes and accessories. This next item here sold for $55. It is a torrid uh twill camo jacket 2x newest tags i purchased this from the thrift store um i think it cost 16 dollars for this one individual item but when i do my cost of goods i do it the average cost per item per trip and this particular um time that i went thrifting and thrifted this item i bought a whole bunch of stuff and most of it was a dollar so it made my average sale price four dollars so we are going to say that i paid four dollars for this item um so yeah i made a decent profit on this one as well it probably went first uh not first class priority mail so i probably made about 35 dollars on this item here Right, this next item is probably one of my favorite brands that I have discovered. It is called Hobo International. I sold this leather uh, Lauren clutch in the color ivory. Um, it sold for $58.50. I picked this up at the Goodwill Outlets, aka the bins. So I only paid about $1.50, $2 for this item. It went first class. So I made about $45 on this item here. Right, this next item here is an item that I picked up because apparently I do care about the environment. Um, it is a granny square Afghan blanket. Um, I started picking these up uh, about a month or two ago. Um, I saw that people were saying that they sell very well, especially if they have like um, intricate patterns and stuff on them. But I've just been picking as many of them up as possible that have um, that are still in good shape just because I know that um, they take a lot of time to make. Um, and I really hate to see that type of stuff go to the landfill. Um, this particular one here sold for $53.63. So I made a profit of about $40. And I also sold two or three other of the hand knit blankets this um, month as well. So I was super excited that I was able to save um, some very special stuff uh, from the landfill. All right, this next item here is a real tree camo a waterproof jacket i need to do more research on this brand because when i was in walmart the other day um and i walked past the clothing section i saw that will real tree um is a brand that is sold at walmart um so i don't know if there's like different um like lines of this brand but this particular jacket here sold for $48.54 in used condition so I made a profit of about $35 on this one um, I'm sure I picked this up at a yard sale or either the bins and only paid a dollar or two for it Next, we have this SAS red pair of leather uh, strappy sandals. I picked these up because I heard other um, YouTubers. I think it was I was watching a Rally Roots video and Ryan was talking about how well this brand sells. So um, I did pick these up. Um, these were featured in a thrift haul that I did back in the spring. So it did take them quite a minute to sell. I think I paid like six or seven dollars for this pair of shoes they sold for $43.28 they probably went in a padded flat rate um Meller so I made about $25 on this item here next item here um is a pair of nine west uh booties I picked these up at the bins for $1.50 to $2. They sold for $42.80. So I made a profit of $30 to $35. I'm going to go ahead and say that um, do not sleep on 9 West. This is one of the first um items that um i realized sold very well when i first started reselling a couple of years ago. Um I would always find the Nine West like career toad, the Nine West career 
um, like pumps at the store for like 99 cents on 99 cent day. And um, I would pick them up and I would get 25 to 30 dollars for them. So um, I just kind of sort of have always picked them up because they sold very, very well. Now I'm branching off into other styles outside of just the basic um, black platform shoes. Um, one thing I will say about Nine West is most of their items are made with real leather um, and the heel is not super high and they've just got a large variety as far as style. So Nine West is definitely a great brand to look out for and I generally pick up any um, classic looking Nine West shoe when I am out shopping because they just tend to sell very, very well next item here is a vera bradley animal kingdom tote bag this is a retired print it's also a very rare print to find i um picked this up at the bin so i paid um a dollar fifty for this it sold for forty two dollars and fifty cents so i made between thirty and thirty five dollars one thing i will say about vera bradley is the price that you get on your item is solely dependent upon the pattern and whether or not the pattern is a popular pattern that people like um when you're listing vera bradley items um i think it's worth the extra time to uh find out what the exact pattern name is that way you know what the item is actually worth rather than listing an item for x amount of dollars because that is the average amount that you get for vera bradley um normally i get about 25 to 30 dollars for vera bradley but as you can see this one sold for 42.50 and if we're gonna be honest it wasn't even in the best of conditions all right this next item here um i picked it up solely because of style it was a no name brand shoe and then on top of that it was faux leather and i hate faux leather because it flakes and stuff and these um boots had actually started flaking um but they were really cute and i figured somebody would still buy them it is just a pair of um i labeled them as blue mid-calf pointy toe western stiletto cowboy boots um they sold for 38 dollars and 51 cents i purchased these at the outlet as well so i paid less than two dollars for them so i made about 25 to 30 dollars on this item here this next item here is another item that I love selling. Uh, this was a Miracle Suit size 16 one piece um, bathing suit. I purchased this from the Goodwill or either the bin, so I paid no more than $4 for it. Um, it sold for $38.22. It went first class, so shipping was very cheap. So I made approximately $25 to $27 on this item here. Um, I'm going to go ahead, you know, I'm spilling all the tea for you guys. Um, swimsuits should be one of the first sections that you check out when you go thrifting simply because nobody else is looking at swimsuits um i only sell plus size swimsuits so size 16 or larger unless i find like victoria's secret or some other um, brand that I know sells very well, then I will pick it up in the smaller sizes. But um, in the larger sizes, 16 on up, it does not have to be anybody's name brand. I have sold Walmart branded um, swimsuits for $25, $35. Um, and I find them a lot simply because other people are not thinking about swimsuits. They're generally under $5 inside the thrift store. And I have never seen a swimsuit, um, that was of a better brand priced up at the Goodwill like they normally do. Um, so everybody is sleeping on the swimsuit. So don't you sleep on the swimsuits because that's going to put more money in your pocket. All right, this next item here is also another item that people are sleeping on. This was a lot of two um, 
George men cargo shorts in the color khaki um, and military green. I purchased these at a yard sale. I believe I paid 50 cents each. I may have paid a dollar each and they sold for um, $37 and um, 80 cents. Now, one thing that I have learned in my year of reselling is that you can sell anything, but sometimes it all that really matters is how you choose to sell it. So individually, I would not have picked up these two items. Um, George is a Walmart brand, um, and you generally like that type of stuff. Those type of brands don't have a good resale value. Um, but one thing that I have noticed is that if you can find one item no matter what the brand um it can be some chinese brand that's just raggedy and falling apart but if you can find items that are similar in style and just have a separate color um then you can lock those items together and generally get good money for them so i don't believe i would have been able to have sold these separately but again i lotted these together and was able to get almost 40 dollars for them and this is not the first time that i have done this with a walmart or a very very low-end brand um and it tends to work and the sell-through rate or i guess the amount of time that i have it in my inventory is usually less than 30 days so again you guys write this little tip down if you find items that are basically the same thing but in different colors no matter what the brand is pick it up lot it together and sell it like that these next two items, I am just going to uh, put them together because they're basically the same thing, but two separate sales. Um, if you watched my video about, I think it was about a month ago, um, I had bought $1,000 worth of stuff off of Facebook Marketplace and it was all Matilda Jane. That was a great purchase um, that I made. I have sold one item. Essentially, I sell about an item every single day. Um, and my average cost of good per item for that trip was $4. Um, so these two here are two accessories. They are um, messenger bags. Each of them sold for $37.80. I've got $4 into them. And of course, they both went... Um, first class um so i did not pay that much shipping so i probably made 20 to 25 dollars off of each of these bags and i have only had them about three weeks next item is another pair of nine west shoes these were just a navy blue um leather pair of mary janes i picked these up when i was in california on vacation um at the bin so only paid like a dollar fifty for them they sold for thirty seven dollars and eighty cents so i made approximately twenty to twenty five dollars on this item here this next item is a two-piece suit, which I believe I picked up from my local thrift store um, for like $2. Um, once I got it home, I was super disappointed because the uh, blazer was one size and the skirt was another size. Um, but I just went ahead and listed it anyways in hopes that someone would still buy it, and they did. This sold for $37.45. Um, so I made a profit of approximately 20 to $25 on this item here. This next item here is something that most people probably would skip over at the thrift store, but it sells very, very, very well. This is a vintage faded glory, um, blue jean jumper dress. Um, I purchased this at a flea market for $7.99, I believe, and it sold for $37.45. So I made approximately $20, $25 on this item. Now I am going to go ahead and explain to you why this item sells so, so well. Um, this is a Walmart branded item yet again. So it probably didn't even cost $35 brand new. But 
There are people out there who do not wear pants and they only wear skirts. And most of the time they wear blue jean skirts, Um, I guess, because it goes with everything. The reason I know this is because I used to be one of those people. Um, so blue jean skirts, um, or dresses and long skirts and dresses in general are very, very, very hard to come by in the store. Like they basically do not sell them anymore. Like everything has your ass sticking out. Um, so I never miss an opportunity to pick up a denim skirt or a long denim dress because no matter what the brand is, they sell. I sell several of these every single month. So definitely, definitely pick up these items. And of course, in the larger sizes, you can add a couple of extra dollars just because um, the supply and demand. This next item here is an item that I have had for quite a while. It is a Catherine's plus size blouse. Um, I purchased this inside the Goodwill store. I paid $5.99 for this top um, and it sold for $37.10. So I made approximately $25 on this item. So I know some people ask, you know, how long do you let inventory sit before you get rid of it? And the answer is forever. Um, if you've already put the effort into listing an item, then you might as well sell that item, even if you lose money on that item. Um, at least you still got an opportunity to uh, gain um some sort of feedback from a customer and it's also like a waste of your time and your money to go and take that item out of inventory and try to find another way to sell it so i just keep relisting my items and adjusting the prices until they sell and basically everything um that i have bought when i first started has um almost sold so that's just gonna be what i continue to do um so yeah um this is an item that i've had a really long time and i still got good money for it all right and the last item that i am going to share with you guys is this forever 21 camouflage patched um jacket i purchased this at the bins so i paid a dollar 50 for it and it sold for 35 dollars so i made approximately 20 25 dollars on this item i will go ahead and say that um originally i would not pick up anything that was of a brand that i felt was you know solely high fashion such as places like forever 21 um, but they do have a loyal following of people and on trend items do sell very, very well. And people tend to pay up for them, even if they are cheap and, um, low quality. So now I do pick up, um, fast fashion brands if the item is very, very on trend and something that I think I can get an elevated um, resale value for. All right, you guys. So that is all of the sales for the month of July that I am going to share with you. Um, in all, I had a total of 117 sales, which is 24.5% down from the month of June. And my total sales um, was $3,291.96, which is approximately 24.7% down from my total sales um, in the month of June. I'm not going to lie, July did have me questioning um, whether or not I know what I am doing. I have um, put a plan in place to grow my store to reach a specific number by the end of the year. And for the most part, month over month, my sales and my profits grow each and every month. So this was the first month that I had a decline in sales. Um, and it 
it kind of messed with me in my mind. I'm not going to lie. It definitely um it definitely had me feeling like maybe reselling is not for me. Maybe I can't do it. But at the end of the day, trends are trends. Um July is a very slow month in reselling. So, um you know, I'm 100 and 37% positive that um, the effort that I put into listing a whole lot more stuff in the month of July will pay off in the month of August, September, October, and the months to come. So that is all I have for this video. If you are a reseller, let me know what were your numbers like in the month of July. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next side hustle. Bye.